What is going on YouTube? So we are back at it again with another Monday motivational video. So this video is gonna be about um how to change for the better, and especially uh, if you want to trying to go to gym, you know what I'm saying? Because my friend has been asking me this like to make a video about it, cause like he needs some tips for the gym and shit and how to change. Cause change is a very difficult thing to do, but like. So I'll be helping y'all out, you know what I'm trying to say. And if you guys um, are keen to change, make sure you guys stay tuned to the video and make sure you hit that like button, thumbs up, hit a comment down below to tell me what's up and send me some suggestions of what I, what videos I should do next, some topics, you know what I'm trying to cover, you know what I'm trying to say, what, what you guys want to learn, how do you guys, how to stay locked in and any, any topics you, you want me to cover, you know what I'm trying to say. And yeah, make sure you guys share this to your friends as well, you know, before we get into the video. But but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it, you know what I'm saying? Bam. First of all, life life is all about mindset and perspective. So once you get into the right mindset, once you learn how to control your mind, the mind, the mind is a very powerful thing. Like it will control everything, and like what, it's also important to watch what you feed your mind. You know, I'm trying to say. But the number one thing, if you if you want to change something about yourself, the number one thing, your first thing you need to do is you have to accept yourself and your current state. You know, I'm trying your current self. You know, I'm trying to say because you have to love yourself. Cause change takes a very long time. It, it is a process, you know what I'm trying to say? So the first thing you need to do is accept yourself for who you are. Accept all your flaws, accept all the wrong things about you, you know what I'm trying to say? Cause that's what change is for. It will change that, you know what I'm trying to say? So the first step is purpose. So what is your purpose? What, what, what are you trying to change for? What are you doing this for? What are you trying to go to the gym for? Why are you trying to lose weight for? You know what I'm trying to say? So. Make sure you're clear about your purpose and make sure it's all about you because change is an inside job. And change is all about self-evaluation and self-awareness, you know what I'm trying to say? And if you really want to change, make sure you're doing it for yourself and not for anybody else, you know what I'm trying to say? That's one of the most important things. Accept your flaws and learn to love your current self, you know what I'm trying to say? Because change is coming. Don't you gotta worry, you know what I'm trying to say? And the next thing is recognize your mistakes. That's, that's what I'm talking about, self-evaluation. Recognize your previous and past mistakes in life, you know what I'm trying to say? Think about it, right? You gotta recognize what you've done wrong before you can change it. And one thing you gotta do is you gotta set a goal, you gotta plan it, and you just gotta do it. Cause, but most people these days are like, they set a goal, right, and they plan, and what ends up happening is they they try to be perfect, but just stop trying to be a perfectionist and just do it because that's just that's just dwelling. You're just, you're just making excuses when you're just trying to be a perfectionist because like you're not going to be perfect. You know, I'm trying to say most people fail to start because they're trying to trying to be a perfectionist. But what they don't know is like. Um, mistakes are a part of part of um, the journey, you know. I'm trying to say, if you want to change, you will encounter a lot of mistakes. You will fall down. You will stop trying to be a perfectionist. Um, most people these days fail to start because they're overthinking in their mind. They're overthinking about the things that could go wrong. You know, what I'm trying to say, like that's why they keep delaying their goals because they just keep overthinking on oh, what could go wrong. What if I don't make it? You know, I'm trying to say that's what most people are about. Cause like they're on the defense, not on the offense. You know, I'm trying to say just it's just an excuse of that's holding you back from doing it. You know, I'm trying to say. So the number one thing is when you set a goal and a plan, just do it. Just don't don't worry about the mistakes because the mistakes are gonna come no matter what. You will always make mistakes in life. So stop overthinking and just do it. You know, I'm trying to say. And yeah, just do it because. You will not get it perfect, you know what I'm saying? Nothing is perfect, just do it, because failure is feedback. When you fail, you get a feedback, and you can assess what you've done wrong, and 
next time you just gotta change it up a little bit so you then just don't do it anymore you know what I'm trying to say and it's just called self-evaluation you just gotta try new things a new approach to your goals and the next thing is just be patient because change takes a lot of time especially when you're losing weight change takes a lot of time and just most people are like I know like that's the main that's the main point of the goal right the results because most people are like thinking about the results but um, the results are gonna come but like most people are like thinking about it that's, that's why most people give up when they're trying to lose weight because they don't see the results you know what I'm trying to say because results take, takes a lot of time if you're trying to lose weight if you're starting to get to lose weight or go to the gym stop thinking about the results and just do it every day just just add it into your lifestyle because if you're trying to change yeah it, it, it becomes a part of you it becomes a part of your lifestyle and if you really want to change stop I know that's the main point of the thing with the results but once you just take a step back and just stop thinking about the results and just do it you just put in the work towards your goals and eventually you, you, you will see the results and you will be surprised because they will just come like out of nowhere you know because that's what happens to me you know I just when I'm in the gym I just go in there just get my work done and just I don't even think about the results I just get it done and that's one of the main things is as well like if you really want to change want to lose weight or walk up or something you have to really love the gym because if you get, if you think about it, you're gonna be doing that. If you're trying to lose weight or go to the gym, you're gonna be doing that for at least an hour and a half, two hours. I'm talking about it every day, cause that's me. I go to the gym every day. It usually takes me an hour and a half, two hours to work out. And like, if you're gonna be there, and if you don't like what you're doing, then it's not gonna be a fun time, and you're not gonna enjoy yourself. So this this is one of my advice. You gotta if you if you wanna change, lose weight, just you have to love the gym. Like I don't know if you guys like I know some of you guys don't really like to work out, but like this is one of my main advices, you know. You gotta you gotta love what you do because if you don't if you don't love it then you're gonna end up getting tired of it and you're just not gonna you're just gonna end up just you're just gonna end up stopping, you know what I'm trying to say. And another thing that you and you'll probably also encounter a lot of haters throughout your journey to change because haters are they actually feel sorry for haters because they have the time. They have so much time on their hands. Their lives are, are that sad that they have the time to they take their time to put poison and negativity in other people's lives. People are who are actually doing things with their lives. People who are trying to change. People who are trying to get better in life. Haters are just haters, and like haters are just jealous of what you're trying to do. Cause like still can accept the fact that their lives are like that. So that what they do is they put all their energy into bringing other people down, thinking that will make them better people themselves. Because other people are below them. You know what I'm trying to say, but. Just keep moving forward, don't let the haters affect you because that's their goal. Their goal is to stop you from getting to your goals because they don't have goals themselves because they're trapped in their lives, you know what I'm trying to say. That's why I don't really let the haters affect me. I just stay in my own lane and just do what I gotta do. I just grind it out. Just do it, you know what I'm trying to say. Somebody texted, wait. I mean, like for me, life is all about all about just self awareness and constant self evaluation and change. You know, what I'm trying to say, like I try to change every single day as much as I could. Like so, every night, what I want y'all to do is just ask yourself every night. Just go through. So every night before you go to sleep, right? Just like think about your whole day. Think about the things that you've done. Think about think about the things that you've done throughout the day, and then think attest the things that you've done wrong. You know, I'm trying to say, and like the next day, like try to eliminate that. Try to eliminate the thing that you did wrong the previous day. Like 
it's just little steps, baby steps, you know, I'm trying to, it's a, it's a process, like, if you're trying to change, change is a constant, you know, I'm trying, it's inevitable, so, like, you gotta, you gotta go with it, you know, I'm trying to say, yeah, but thanks for watching, guys, it was just a quick video, I'm just kind of really bored right now, so, I just did it, and yeah, make sure you guys hit it, hit that thumbs up button, comment down below what I should cover next, what topic, and if you guys have any questions and how to stay locked in, any any topic I would. Do. And I really appreciate your support, guys. So keep them, keep it coming. You know what I'm trying to say. I really appreciate the love and support. And yeah, just make sure you guys share this. If you guys like have any friends that want to change as well, make sure you guys share this video to them because. It actually makes me happy when like when, pe when people come up to me in real life. They're like, "Oh yeah, watch your video, bro. Very inspiring." And they're like, "Like, it actually makes me happy." You know, I'm trying to say like, even if it's just a few people, like, it's still like, you know what I mean? But and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bam. Actually, wait up, wait up. You know, wait up, wait up, wait up forgot to say stay locked in y'all